We're in 52 warehouses in the LA region, guaranteed to be here for eight weeks. If we do well, then there's an opportunity to be a permanent item. Nothing being said, we have to become a permanent item. Good morning. Ready to do this? How do you get yourself amped for an early morning and another long day like this? What's John's go-to strategy? It feels a little bit overwhelming because there's 52 stores and, uh, and it's physically impossible to get to all of them. You just got to keep thinking that it's going to it's gonna be it's gonna be better and that like the the challenges of the problems are, are all fixable. We have three other team members here, but the geography and the time and the cost make it so that there's really no way <clears throat> we can get into all stores. The the good thing is that uh, last night I met David, who's like running our all our field marketing out here, and Daryl and Julie who are also uh, supporting him. They had, they had pretty much all pretty good visits. Uh, so it sounds like our product is in decent uh, position in the store. And there was product and the, and the reps were doing a good job. And so it's maybe, you know, maybe just our visit wasn't a representation of what's, what's happening at, at a bunch of stores. But I don't think I have any secret to how I get fired up for every day. It's, I think it's just, uh, what else are you gonna do if you, if you decide you're gonna try to do something like this then you just have to keep going and not not let not let the challenges bring you down too low because there's gonna be something every day so I'm sure we'll probably fix this at the, the first problem at the store and then we'll go to another place and I'm sure there'll be something else that happens but we'll uh, we'll just keep just keep moving forward and trying to get better. This is the fifth store we went yesterday, so uh, Alhambra. And what we saw is bread. Our bread is near tortillas and pita, which means we will not sell any product. And also we found a whole bunch of product in the back of the store. So we're gonna try to get the manager to agree to help us move our product. Um, we don't really know how that works because the other, the other brands either have paid for their shelf or the, they've kind of been grandfathered in, so they might get it might be tricky, but then also we got to figure out what we're going to do with all this extra product. If we can get it on a, on a display and get it out of the back because the clock is ticking. We're going in, we're going to go through the back here because the store is closed because it's early morning. All right, John, how did it go? So that was awesome. We met uh, an amazing manager named Andrew. We walked in and he had already fixed it. So our product, it's not in the best spot, but it's, it's next to bread. It's merchandised really well. The distributor obviously did a, did a good job. They came, they got all that extra product, it's on the shelf. And this guy Andrew spent like 20 minutes with us just kind of giving us advice and feedback. And we can have a good day now. I think one big thing that we learned from Costco that I think is relevant for any any company in our shoes is that uh, you have such a short moment to get their attention and to win and to get them to switch and to notice you that you you got to be really clear on why you're better and different. For us, it's we have a much we have like a a long story about stone milling and organic agriculture and rebuilding our food system. For the first four years or so, we, we love telling that story. I love telling that story. But when we did a road show at Costco. Uh, last, I guess it was about it, um, six months ago. There was no time to talk about that long story. You stand at an end cap and you're giving out samples. He had like 20 people walking up at once. They were gonna grab a sample and you could tell them one thing and it was the first time that we, or at least I think, One Mighty Mill has been in a spot where it was like, oh my gosh, you gotta get, you could tell these people one thing and what are you gonna tell them? And we weren't ready for that. It was a test that the buyers wanted to basically see if, if their members or the customers wanted our products. We did amazing at our road show and we, we did so well that we got this opportunity that we're, that's why we're going to Costco now and why we're on shelf. 
but we were not ready to tell that one second, two second, three second kind of reason why we're better and point of difference. And so we spent the time getting ready for this, really like drilling down and figuring it out. And I think it seems so obvious, like you start, you start a company and you know in your heart that you're doing something that you believe is better, but the, the, the reasons I think the, that you believe or like the, the, the team believes, it's, there's more to it. And in the end, the, the consumer, they care about something very personal and it's very directly related to what's, what, what's in it for them, what makes it better. You gotta be able to say it and tell them and put it on your pack. But I do think it's part of just the evolution and, and the, the journey of how you figure it out. You know, stone milled is the biggest point of difference, but, uh, but stone milled doesn't really mean anything to the consumer because they don't know what that means. And so there's gotta be other, couple other things that brings it home, that makes it like the reason to believe. And so what we've figured out, especially at Costco, is refined sugar is, is a bad ingredient and it, it, it doesn't stand for a positive change or a better for you, uh, like, like new, new thing in the category. And so, you know, no, refined, no refined sugar is, is a, is a kind of like, it gives us even more credibility around why stone milled is better, even though it's not directly related to the process of stone milling. And then the other one is uh, no seed oils. And then for the consumers that already get it, then we can have this longer kind of deeper story and, uh, and I think that creates more emotion, more loyalty over time. So that's my advice. That was very long. This is my demo kit. Food, handlers, course, graduate. This is big for me. This is like bigger than obviously graduating college. We love to see it. Look at this. We love to see it. How great. This is awesome. Yes. yes. One shot I really wanted to get to explain how startup by the bootstraps One Mighty Mill is, is getting John setting up for our demo. Um, he does them all the time. John is on some important phone calls, so. Here's the demo setup. We'll show you him doing some demos, but whatever. What? It was good? It was a good call? It was a good call. Hell yeah. All right, so we are in Woodland Hills. Demo is set up. Grilled cheeses are being grilled on stone milled whole wheat bread. And we are ready to sell. So we got an awesome setup. We got our product here. No refined sugar and no seed oils. Really good. Awesome. Thanks, man. Cool. Thanks for trying it, guys. Looks like one to support. That's awesome. We love that. So far, we've sold one. 99 to go. We make our own flour to keep all the nutrients in and no refined sugar. One gram of organic honey. Oh, okay. A little loop on the bottom. Thank you so much. Very good. Yeah. Wrap them. Thank you so much. We really course. appreciate it. Of course. Did me and I do a good job demoing? Yes. You guys. You guys. Out of 10? I'll give you. Well, I got to see the numbers. <gasps> so let's. Why don't we see the numbers and then we can decide? <laughs> Our buyer called, uh, or requested a call at 6:30 this morning, and we were already inside Costco, but I didn't. Somehow I didn't see the request, and so we uh, we caught up here when I got here on the phone, and she let me know that. We've done pretty well with sales for the week. because so our first week is over because there's 11 Costco's where sales were over $1,000 from the week. That was a highlight. And she said there was one that had $2,000 in sales, which is really good. And she said, were you there doing a demo? Which I think normally we would be excited to be able to say, yeah, we support stores and that's what we do. But the good news is that we didn't do a demo there. So something happened in Cyprus. So I think we all need to go check it out. The downside was this six Costco's today don't have our bread. And that's a big problem for Costco. It's a big problem for us too, but there's no excuse, but we do have the product. It just was in the wrong stores. So our distribution was uneven. So there are some Costco's in, in LA that have like 250 loaves and then there are a six that have zero. 
no seed oil, no refined sugar. We use organic honey, a little bit of organic honey, and some extra virgin olive oil. And you can probably freeze one, right? Freezing is the way to do it. 100%, yes. You'll take one. Sold. We're having a good day. I'll throw it in. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Are they always going to have it um, Costco? We hope or? so. For now, yes. If not, where else can I find it? You can get a Whole Foods, but buy it here. Oh, it's Whole better Foods. It's it's better for us Foods. here. Yeah. yeah. It's cheaper, and we need sales here. So oh, okay. where no, we I'm are... I'm going to get this. Yeah. yeah. Just in case I run out. Yeah, you're going to run out. He's going to eat it all. So, no. But we're down. We're right on the wall. Okay. And we oh, have and we have the funny packaging, so you'll remember. I'll remember. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. want to try some? Sure. What is it? Is Great. It, uh, so this is whole wheat? it's organic stone milled whole wheat. So what that means is uh, we grind our own flour fresh uh -huh. on stones. Really Thank you. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> it's really good. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you some. We're gonna get you on payroll. Thank you. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You're already eating carbs, you're already eating bread, you're already losing time in your life every day. It's ticking, ticking, ticking. So why not eat the best bread for you? One mighty mill. We stone mill. Do you know what that means? Well, in America, 150 years ago, everything changed because of the Industrial Revolution. That's when roller mills crawled in the picture. Before that, our ancestors they were eating bread the way we're making it, by stone milling. They were crushing up that whole wheat berry between two stones, keeping a more flavorful and nutrient dense flour and flour products. So when you stone mill, you get fiber, amino acids, healthy fat, protein. When you industrial roller mill, you got folic acid, you got refined carbs. The choice is obvious, eat stone mill. Oh, Fourth I have quarter. five left. Five left. Let's go. Five left. Last quarter. Five left. Five loaves. We had we had a full rack. We're down to five. It's the fourth quarter. After this, we go to the next Costco and we do it again and again and again until there's no more bread. They can't stop us. Until the bread until the bread runs out. There you go. Thank you. Four more. Four more. Who wants it? Who wants it? We got four left. We got four left. Get it while it's get it while you can. Let's get in here. Let's try it. Let's. What happened? Before it, I even tried this morning, but it's so good. You're making a you're making our dick. Thank you. But thank you so much. It's very good. Thank you. Emma, how many more loaves? Two. Two more. Two more. What should we do? What should we do? Um, there's a break room. Make a bunch of grilled cheeses. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. Let's do it. <gasps> He's incoming. Hey, we want you to try this bread. John, I like that line. Flour in America is junk food. Yeah. That was good. All right. Let's go. You guys got to try this. Come on over. I 11 o'clock. Everything's going beautifully. Boom. boom, boom. The whole team is doing their tour, the, the inspection yeah, yeah. tour, like with all the heads and they're all they're sampling and they're eating and they're loving. And one of the big wigs goes to pick up our f***ing uh, uh, <laughs> And it goes flying on the ground. Okay. And I'm going, go, don't, don't, you know, I'm sorry, I'll fix it for you, no worries. And again, the stupid line I've been saying has been, don't judge a book by its cover, yeah. <laughs> but you should look at the back cover because yeah. it's very impressive. That's great. But um, I can't wait for that tape. Yeah. That's um, I don't even I, care anymore. I, oh, I do. It, it's, <laughs> our packaging is so it is. It's impactful great. and it's making the sales go. But it's going to make so, life so much easier for me. Yeah. Just, I so, know. Thank I you. Know. No, 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 I know. But thank I, you. I, 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 <laughs> but it's, I'm, again, so it's not the I'm so scarred. I'm so screwed up on my brain from worrying so much about it, and then I okay. see kind of what the trade-off is. So, That's but why. starting tomorrow, the, the, the bread arrives tomorrow. Is all it's safe. my it's sanity. That I filmed the last <laughs> hour in <laughs> slow mo. When you industrial roller mill, you got followed. Time is ticking. Your life is precious. Add years. Okay. I didn't even get his 
thing talking to Dave, his whole thing. Oh my god, I'm disturbed. I was doing so well until today. Ugh. Where we think Costco defines success for companies like us is a thousand dollars in sales per week per store. So our twin pack is like 10 bucks. So if you think about it, 100 units equals a thousand dollars. So if we could do thousand dollars in one demo, one day, then we've already hit our week goal. And so the other six days are just like icing on the cake. So that's the way we think about it. So let's do it. Let's do it. Mm -hmm.